okay hi everyone so today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem so it says a uniform ladder of uh, length uh, 10 meter and mass uh, 16 kilogram is resting against a vertical wall making an angle of 37 degree with it the vertical wall is frictionless but the ground is uh, rough an electrician weighing 60 kilogram climbs up the ladder if he stays on the ladder at a point 8 meter from the lower end what will be the normal force and the force of friction on the ladder by the ground what should be the minimum coefficient of friction for the electrician to work safely? Fine. So, they have kafi sare data given. Hai. So, we have diagram draw kar lete. Is tarah se hamare paas vertical wall hai aur horizontal ground hai. And uh, is tarah se hamare paas ladder hai. Ye jo angle de rakha hai. This angle is 37 degree. And lower end se 8 meter ke distance pe something like this. Ek electrician hai. Right. And total length of this ladder is 10. So, ye jo bacha hua length hai. Ye 2 meter hai. And we have normal reaction and friction force ka value find out karna hai by the ground. So, kya karna padega? Pahle free body diagram draw karenge. Right? So, dekho normal reaction lagega by the ground perpendicular to the ground. Is tarah se N1. And normal reaction by the wall perpendicular to the wall. Let's call it N2. And weight lagega electrician ka vertically downward. That is 60G. And uh, weight of the ladder. Is ke center of mass pe. Is ka center of mass kaan pe hoga? Is ladder ke center pe. Because uh, ye jo ladder hai uniform hai. So, that is at a distance of 4 meter 4 meter ke distance pe iska jo weight hai that is 16 g right uh, aur ek force hai that is a uh, force of friction kahan pe lagega between ground and ladder yahan pe aur kis direction mein piche ki taraf right because ye jo point hai iska tendency aage ki taraf slip karne ka hai so friction force piche ki taraf lagega aur ye jo friction force hai ye static friction hai because abhi relative motion nahi hai between the ladder and the ground and this wall is smooth, hai, right? So here there is no friction force here. Now variables check N1, N2 and friction force, right? There are three variables, so we have to write three equations. This rod is in translational equilibrium. There is no acceleration in x direction and y direction. Mein bhi. It means net force in x direction will be zero. That is simply N2 is equal to dekho, N2 horizontal direction mein balance ho by friction force. So this equation to here. Similarly, uh, vertical direction may forces ko balance kar do n1 uh, that will be 60g plus 16g right ye jo 60g hai aur 16g hai ye balance ho jayenge by n1 so n1 ka value aap directly find out kar sakte ho kitna aa raha 76g g ka value put karke n1 ka value of find out kar sakte ho right now third equation kahan se likhenge hum third equation will be simply from uh, you know net torque is equal to 0 because this ladder is also in rotational equilibrium ye jo ladder hai rotate nahi kar rahi hai so net torque on this ladder will be zero now net torque dekho torque hum kisi axis ke about likhte hain so kis axis ke about net torque zero hoga ab koi bhi axis choose kar lo us axis ke about aap net torque is equal to zero likh sakte ho right so is tarah se hum multiple equation likh sakte hain net torque is equal to zero by changing axis so koi bhi ek axis choose kar lete hain let's say ye jo bottom most point hai na this ladder ka jo ki ground ke contact mein hai, this is my uh, axis right yahan pe maine apni axis define kar li so net torque dekho n1 aur friction force ka torque zero ho jayega because uh, ye dono isi axis se pass kar jayenge 16 g aur 60 g in dono ka torque kitna aayega dekho 16 g ka torque aayega 16 g force right and uh, iska lever arm lever arm that is the uh, perpendicular distance of line of action so is tarah se line of action ka perpendicular distance ye raha so, this angle will be 37, hoga, right? So, 37. Uh, 4 ka sin 37. 4 into sin 37 is 3 by 5. So, how much is 12 by 5. So, this is 12 by 5. Se multiply kar do. Similarly, 60 g. 60 g into this lever arm. Lever arm check. This is 8. And this angle again 37 degree. Hai. So, 8 ka sin 37. 8 into 3 by 5. So, 24 by 5. So, that is 24 by 5. Right? This is torque. Aa 16g or 60g ka ye kis tarah se aa raha anti clockwise hai na so ye ho gaya anti clockwise torque that should be equal to total clockwise torque aur clockwise torque kiska aayega n2 ka so n2 into iska perpendicular distance it means ye perpendicular distance line of action ka and this is nothing but ye wali height aur ye height kaise nikaloge total length 10 hai aur ye angle 37 hai so 10 ka cos 37 that is 4 by 5 that is 40 by 5 so, here 40 by 5. 40 by 5. Uh, that is nothing but 8. Hana? 
सो एन का वैल्यू यहाँ से डायरेक्टली आ जाएगा राइट देखो एन का वैल्यू हम यहाँ से फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं दिस अपॉन एट सो एन का वैल्यू आ गया सो एफ का वैल्यू वही आ जाएगा एन एफ इज़ नथिंग बट एन टू नाउ हम कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एफ का जो भी वैल्यू आएगा दैट विल ऑलवेज बी लेस देन और इक्वल टू लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन वट इज़ लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन दैट इज एन वन इन टू म्यू एन वन क्यों आएगा बिकॉज जो नॉर्मल रिएक्शन है बिटवीन द ग्राउंड एंड द लैडर दैट इज़ एन वन है ना और वहीं पर फ्रिक्शन लग रहा है सो एन वन इंटू म्यू सो यू कैन से एफ बाई एन वन इज ऑलवेज लेस देन और इक्वल टू म्यू मीन्स म्यू का जो वैल्यू है वो ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन एफ बाई एन वन होगा सो वट इज़ द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ म्यू दैट इज एफ अपॉन एन वन है ना एफ का वैल्यू हमने फाइंड आउट कर लिया एन वन का भी वैल्यू फाइंड आउट कर लिया सो so यहाँ से म्यू आ जाएगा सो आई थिंक यू हैव अंडरस्टूड लेट मी नो इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन वी कैन डिस्कस फर्दर ओके इसकी वर्किंग हार्ड बेस्ट ऑफ लक बाई